Hello everyone, this is Anita Ni. In today's video, you will see some of the places that people come and visit in my place. And for those who are new to my channel, this channel talks about Korean culture, Korean way of life, life in the countryside, and of course, I am a married immigrant. So we will be talking about the life of married immigrants living in Korea. So if you are interested in this kind of topics, Please click subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified if I have a new video. By the way, our background music is entitled Arirang, Korea's traditional song. Today, come and join me. Let's explore Tangjin County, a small town situated in the south of Chola Province, South Korea. Tangjin is largely agricultural base and very much well known for its wheat, rice, tomato, corn, paprika, and persimmon harvest. Do you eat eels and clams? Yes, they are in abundance in here. For the local residents are not only into agriculture but fishing as well, so there are lots of delicious and healthy food specialties to choose from. This town has lots of beautiful places to visit it. So, let's go! Let me be your guide! Our first stop over is Kangjin's Ecological Park. I was not able to take an off-front picture, but still you can see its beauty. The ecological park is a wetland. In this time of year, it is very peaceful. Shall I say a perfect getaway for you or for you and your date? <laughs> it is covered with reeds and there are wooden boardwalks installed which created a path you could stroll for hours if you like. It has a very gorgeous natural beauty. And in the base, you can find lots of fishes and small creatures and birds like the seagulls during low tides and seagulls flying during high tides. This is a very beautiful and quiet place to take a walk and enjoy the beautiful nature views that God has created. Perfect place for a morning or afternoon walk. Before the pandemic, you can see lots of people in here all year round. Now, it is quite deserted. So sad. But still, it's, its charm is still there. We'll wait. Next stop is Kangjin Pegumyeon. This is the potter's village. Shall I say, well, I'm not an expert, just want to make a disclaimer that everything you heard me say is just my opinion and my observation. Don't take this as an expert opinion for I am not. In Korea, the Siladon were produced under the Goryeo dynasty and are regarded as classic wares of Korean porcelain. The best made celadon color is similar to the color of jade, which they call celadon blue. And guys, they are very expensive. I can't afford it. I have a very very small ones at home, only used for decoration. To make these beautiful things, it will undergo five procedures. First is the preparation of raw materials, which is collection of clay or soil that contains 2 to 3% iron as it is accumulated after being weathered and eroded. 
quite a job. Second stage is forming, and this includes mold, hand, and spinning wheel forming. Mold forming enables large scale production as it uses a mold to make shapes. Well, it's quite a hard job for me. The third stage is pattern decoration. So after shaping and forming, patterns are decorated on celadon. So this is really a potter's skills needed here. Now here is where the glazing took place. It's big, right? Take a look. It's so amazing. They said that the works are cooled down for four to five days in a kiln. Then it is glazed for the final firing. He said that various methods are used for glazing including dipping, brushing, and spraying. Dipping is commonly used as it produces a consistent surface. Now we have an idea of how it is being made. Now the last is helm firing. So you, they said that you need to dry the work well after the pattern decoration and fire it around 900 degrees centigrade. Blue and beautiful celadon is created through the reduction firing. Look at this picture. This is how they made it in the past. Beautiful. So this is procedure number two. This is number three. Number four. And this is number five. So this is it guys, so this is how they made it, how the celadon jars are being made. Next in this area we have some, next in, in the other side we have the museum but it's closed now. During the summer, we have the Celadon Festival, and this place is packed with so many people. But because of the pandemic again, so it's quite deserted. As you can see, this area, the other side is a mountain, and the mountain is, uh, the trees are good, uh, and they use it in making the ceramics or the decorative jars. So 
So I hope you enjoy our short tour for today. This area is a camping site. As you can see, there are lots of camping cars for rent. So if you want to stay for a night or two, you can. So this is all for now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I will see you next Wednesday for my next video. This is Onetoni wishing you all a blessful and fruitful days ahead. Saramida!